Now a big day in the investigation of the attack on Capitol Hill. The year and a half long congressional investigation into the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol officially comes to an end today. CBS 4's Deborah Alfaron is on Capitol Hill with what you can expect to see in the House Select Committee's final report. The violence. At the, Capitol. the House committee investigating the deadly assault on the U.S. Capitol is set to release its final report today. I guarantee there will be some very interesting new information in the report and, and even more so in the transcripts that we release. It's a lot that fills in some of the missing pieces. The January 6th committee's investigation lasted nearly 18 months. During that time, it conducted about 1,200 interviews and collected more than 1 million documents. Congressman Adam Schiff says the documents will include some troubling new details. You'll see why we're concerned that, uh, that witnesses may have been interfered with or an attempt to influence them. CBS News' Robert Costa obtained some previously unaired audio from the deposition of President Trump's personal aide, Nick Luna, who told investigators he heard the president tearing up documents. I don't know what the documents were, but there were tearing. But you are aware that at least sometimes the president would tear up notes or piece of paper when he was done with them. Is that correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. The January 6th committee has already voted to recommend to the Department of Justice that federal prosecutors pursue possible criminal charges against former President Trump. If the Justice Department concludes that the evidence is there, that they can prove that he committed crimes beyond a reasonable doubt, he should be indicted. Republicans continue to dismiss the bipartisan committee as nothing more than a partisan attack. It was set up as political theater. It's still political theater. Investigations are to be done by law enforcement, not by some political group out of the House. The committee already began handing over records and transcripts to the Department of Justice earlier this month. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Well, Trump responded to the January 6th committee's criminal referral, saying these folks don't get it that when they come after me, people who love freedom rally around me. It strengthens me.